Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's trading floor, November 6th. Uh, markets kind of mixed after export sales uh, had been released this morning. Now, we've seen a, a bounce for beans yesterday uh, and for corn, looking for expectations to see decent sales. Um, corn, they expected 600,000 to 800,000 tons. Um, we got 478. So that's negative for corn. Uh, beans, they were looking 900,000 to 1.1 million metric tons. They got 1.64. So those were good sales here for beans. Uh, and then for wheat, 325,000 to 525,000. Uh, it came out at 265. So negative there on the wheat front, uh, as well. The other surprise though is meal. They were looking for 100,000 to 250. So looking for decent meal sales, but there was a net cancellation. Uh, and so we had a minus 123.7. Um, certainly negative, but the market doesn't seem to care about that just yet. Uh, corn down two and three quarter cents to start the over or to end the overnight session. Uh, beans up about four cents. Wheat down three. Meal slightly better. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens after 8:30. Our primary focus now is going to shift. Export sales are done. What are we looking at here for Monday's report? What is USDA going to say on Monday uh, for corn? Uh, corn production estimates coming in at uh, 14.55 billion crop. Average yield that guys are looking at 175.23, so just better than a 175 average. And carryout numbers for corn at 2.13 billion. Those are still big numbers. So, uh, and as far as beans production, just under a 4 billion crop, 3.97. Average yields there, 47.6 is what guys are expecting. Carry out numbers looking to decline. This might be another reason on why we're seeing uh, beans find a little support as we go into uh, into that report on Monday. But 442 uh, million carry out is the expectation here for Monday. So watch for that. Probably going to see guys evening up and, and trying to get in front of that. We've got a weekend ahead of us. Good uh, harvest pace going on. Uh, and that's, uh, that might keep more of a bearish tone, uh, and keep, uh, keep some kind of a cap here on rallies. Uh, looking at livestock. Cattle probably gonna see a mixed start today. Uh, box beef coming in a little bit mixed. Choice up 110, select down 37. Uh, markets, uh, still seem to, uh, continue. They're looking for a multiple weeks, or, or I guess continuous weeks of, of maybe lower cash. Haven't seen anything just yet. Um, but probably going to see some back and forth trade until we see that. Now, as far as hogs, 22, uh, 22 cents higher as far as cutout values, but looking at export numbers, September numbers down 13% under last year as far as export. Um, as far as imports, though, imported 23% over last year. So with this ban that's going on from Russia, certainly making... Uh, more pork available for maybe smaller demand. So that's going to be negative here, at least for up front until something changes, but those numbers are certainly a surprise. Uh, looking at uh, some of the outside markets, stock market's up 40 points right now. The dollar has flipped around, up 35. When it came in this morning, it was down, but we did have some um, uh, unemployment claims uh, down. They were expecting down only two uh, 2,000. They were actually down about 10,000. So that's helping support things. Also, continuous claims, they're expecting 19,000 uh, drop. They actually got 39,000. So uh, getting people out there working again. Gold down 3 bucks, silver down about 18 cents right now. So if you guys have questions out there, we're here to help you out. You can reach us here, 800-262-7538, or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.